Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chupacabra's Lair coverage of select items from CES 2014. And uh, now we're looking at the new MakerBot, the 3D desktop printer. So this is probably one of the prettier looking uh, 3D printers that I've seen because it's not all wiry and, and ugly looking, but they're starting to push more towards uh, common features that you'll see in like your regular printer at home, but on your 3D printer. Um, you know, Think screen on the front and you know, just different features that you, others don't have right now. I'd, I'd really like to say that it's just modernizing 3D printers and bringing them in line of what we just see with the rest of the industry. Because when I'm at home, I can send a print job to my computer from just about any device in my house, so can my family, as long as they're connected to my Wi-Fi. So it's nice to see that they're basically allowing you to, over the cloud, even if you're not in the same building, send stuff to be made, and then, since you're not necessarily right next to the device, there's a little camera inside that allows you to monitor it to make sure that it's printing correctly so you're not wasting materials or time. Yeah, and one of the other cool features that I didn't realize other 3D printers don't have is let's say you're in the middle of a printing job, you run out of the filament that you need to make it, it's just going to stop and you're going to have to restart your project. So you get this little worthless piece of whatever you're trying to print and you have to redo it. This one, instead of doing that, um, lets you know, hey, you're out of this thing that you need to finish the job or you need a different color or whatever. And then it resumes from where it left off once you fix the problem. And this one's also got an okay... I mean, the one thing I don't like about it is the screen that's on the device. But given that they're pushing for using the software and that you can send it stuff from just about any program that has 3D printable schematics in it. Like, it'll just interpret it. You don't have to, like, use a proprietary software necessarily, but it, it offers that. Um, the screen, it's an old LED screen with, like, what I would attribute to, like, an iPod knob that, you know, is the one-size-fits-all interface for this. My cheap printer up upstairs... It's got a touchscreen interface on it that works really nicely. So, I mean, I'm just like, the knob is just not a thing for me. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird to have such an amazing piece of technology controlled by, like, a little stereo knob. I, I could see how it works, and it, it's kind of familiar for people, but, I mean, meh. They, they could have done something different, like just a touchscreen or, you know, whatever. And so this is an interesting device, and it's got all these these fancy new features, and it's supposed to stay under seven thousand dollars, I believe, if I understand the the numbers correctly. I don't think they have a final price yet because it's a brand new piece of technology, but it the whole goal is to make this relatively inexpensive for small to medium sized businesses to use this to test out designs to print little prototypes for their new product. And I've seen that a lot in Kickstarter campaigns, like they offer, hey, we're making these things, but if you want, if you give us this much money, you can get one of the prototype pins that we'll make you out of our 3D printer. It's made with love. Yeah, so, I mean, overall, it's it's a nice-looking printer, and hopefully, he said, some smaller, medium-sized biz businesses start picking it up to help them roll out stuff better to you know their consumers. Right, so I think... I would give this a 9 out of 10 just because I don't like the screen, but it's such a small piece of this device. Like, I, they're doing a great job, and I gotta give them props because they're pushing the envelope in an industry that I can remember having boatloads of trouble with when I was in school, 3D modeling class. Like, we had a 3D printer, but it was, you had to watch it, and you had to balance it, and it just was a pain in the butt. So, they're getting rid of that. They got an auto balancing feature that helps you make sure you're workspaces level it makes sure that everything's printing correctly on its own without having to have constant monitoring and offers you that constant monitoring from afar so good for you guys thanks for making awesome this has been the chupacabras lab reviews of ces 2014 join us again for some other videos that are floating around that you might be interested in and don't forget to like and subscribe because we know you love us can we love you ta-ta bye guys